Hello brothers and sisters, so Sweden's defense ministry warned the public to brace for war. This caused widespread panic. <clears throat> the officials warned them as the nation nears NATO membership and it prompted panic and caused supplies to fly off the shelves. Obviously there goes the toilet paper and anything fresh. For a nation for whom peace has been a pleasant companion for almost 210 years. The idea that it is an immovable constant is conveniently close at hand. Swedish Civil Defence Minister Karl Oskar Bollen, he said this at the Folk och Forsvar Society and Defence Annual Conference on Sunday a week ago. Now the interesting thing here on the 210 years, which is why I slowed down there, is the gap agreed upon in the calendar, the missing years of the Jews, is 210 years. And 210 on top of the 5783 takes you forward, you add 7 to that, and you've got 6,000. So the calendar is then precise for the six days of man before the day of rest. From 5783 through, plus the 210, bringing us to the tribulation period, and then taking us to year 6,000. It's interesting that the number 210 reveals itself in other conversations in world news from time to time almost like a gentle reminder to check your calendars and see where you are living and what time it is on the time scale of man and how ready you should be continuing with the article but taking comfort in this conclusion has become more dangerous than it has been for a long time he said many have said it before me but let me do so in an official capacity more plainly and with naked clarity there could be war in Sweden. We must understand how serious the situation really is and that people down to the individual level are preparing themselves mentally, Biden said, according to Euroctiv. Not Biden, Biden, B-Y-D-E hyphen N. So it's good that he is highlighting this to his people in his country that if you aren't awake yet you should wake up because world war three is taking place all around you and coming together and it will most probably probably reach here unlike other countries like mine where they don't even entertain the thought of there being a world war situation going on or that it might touch their country and that people might need to prepare themselves mentally for what's happening or prepare themselves with Jesus Christ and not need to worry about any of these things. Those that are prepared are those that are awake, those that are in Christ, and those that are watching. And that is the situation, unfortunately, in the world. Everyone marches happily and oblivious in the system to their destruction. And it's mostly people that have rejected Christ, rejected faith, and not wanting to see what's going on because their hope their treasure, their faith, their love, everything is in this world. This broken, disjointed, clown world. And that in itself is sad. And we, as the light, as the salt in the earth, are here to make a difference and to show them the way to the truth. So use every opportunity that the Holy Spirit provides you with today, tomorrow, and the next day to share and to touch the world around you for Jesus Christ. Shalom.